Life safety issues exist. Emergency repairs required before restoration to make ready for intended use. Failed with major repairs. Technical repair report for bidding. Restoration with permit by a fully licensed vendor. Engineer oversight. Three site visits. Certification with owner liability in lieu of a load test. Load test may still be required by the AHJ. Farscape Engineers inspect the summary video. Here we are. New York City, this is a typical fire escape that we've been asked to inspect. Must be structure sound, must be kept painted. So let me tell you some of the things we're concerned about. Let's start off with the paint job. Farscape has not been painted for at least 15 years or, or probably 25. Thereby it has rust jacked a lot of the connections and this Farscape needs a full refurb. So because it has lead paint, you can't weld on it, and whoever's gonna scrape and paint this fire escape must have an EPA renovator's license. And he knows what to do with lead when he scrapes it, collecting all the chips and properly disposal of the chips, notifying all the tenants what needs to be done so that no lead paint goes into the, and contaminates the children. So there's rules to lead painted, lead based fire escapes. Okay, number two, structurally sound. Fire escape is not structurally sound. Not only do I have issues with all the structural bolts, how it ties into the building, I have plenty of issues, and I'll discuss them as I go down. I also have some obstruction issues. So let's start with the, the issues. So the ladder going up, all original hardware, some rust jacking in some of these connections. She's punched through and welded, so that's pretty good. But she's fully rust jacked down here, as you can see. And, uh, and the brackets going into the building. They have skim coated this top. And that's usually an indication that they don't want to repair the wall. And the wall down below has got a lot of water. I don't know if it's coming from the roof, but we've got a lot of water, okay? A lot of, every single one of the brackets going in is questionable, it needs to be verified. Every single one of these connections is original hardware square head bolts. A couple of bolts here and there are gonna be hex head. This is a hex head, this is a square head. So only a couple of these here and there, okay? Obstruction, you can't have ACs in the windows. Those gotta be taken out. You can have, you can exhaust out a window with the, with the ACs that sit inside, but you can't have these, cause look, I barely got 10 inches here now of spacing to get by, okay? These railings, pre-existing not conforming, but there's a hazard here. Child can fall through, can fall through. So if a, a, a mom is taking a child behind her, it's easy for a child to fall through here. So that must be addressed. There's no lighting here. So uh, a lot of ordinances, uh, if you do a lot of work inside the building, a lot of times it triggers the need for all the exit stairways and exit egresses must be lighted. This one is currently not. It looks like, see how straight that is? So we have to talk about the wall. The wall is pretty straight, but then you get here, you can definitely see a bulge. This has nothing to do with my inspection. I just have to notify that there's an issue with the wall. And that could be coming from the roof, roof water, rust, you know, ice jacking, and it's bowling out. So that needs to be addressed separately from that. So this wall is not 100% straight. That's a separate engineer. Uh, that's an envelope study, okay? So, but as we go down, we'll see where that water has been going to. So let me go by. Some of these welds are all questionable. So I'm squeezing by these, this AC. So this fire escape has not passed. We do have life safety concerns on these treads. They've fallen already. Okay, let me go through. All right, we got some dangling wires here and there that need to be addressed. You can't have any dangling wires. Crossing, this is a dangling wire. Cables, all the, all the connections into the building. There's a concern. They need to be uh, addressed and, and sealed. But there's wall issues. Rails are in pretty good condition, other than they all have original hardware. Some of them are rust jacked, so that obviously is gonna get taken care of. All these triangle corners need to, are rust jacked, so those need to be rebolted. The tie backs into the building on both sides looks pretty good. Let's go down these stairs. They've replaced a few. I gotta go very slow because there's some life safety concerns further down. These, these J hooks at the top are all original hardware. So the staircase itself is not gonna fall, but all, look at all that internal rust jacking there. Internal rust in these treads. 
This is, an, this is an old tread, this is a new tread replacement. Undersized bolts, 5 16 as opposed to 3 8 Even the, so again, if you, know, if you don't have somebody watching, if you don't have somebody watching the vendor, this is what happens. Fully rush jacked, every connection is fully rush jacked. High backs into the building. But my main concern, look at all this. This water's coming from up above. And she has destroyed your whole wall. So right now, everything is just falling apart. So again, this is a two part. The, the fire escape is one repair. The wall is another repair. Let's go down slowly because I do have a tread behind me that is in poor condition. This is the one I'm stepping on. Let me step one further. Okay. So as you can see, original tread, but these are the original tread. This is a replacement tread from many years ago. And uh, this, this tread already fell in the hammer test. This is already gone. Original hardware. There's tack welds. Okay, so the welding wish star looks, you can see right through. This tread is ready to fall. This tread is ready to fall too. I hammered it, she, so the back is loose. Here, string of bottoms full of rust jacking. Okay, this has no clip on this side, it's gone. Okay, so open, no paint, a lot of shrubbery and green. You gotta kill the shrubbery, it'll eat iron and it'll cause, it'll go into the neighbors as you can see there, so you gotta kill it at the bottom. She'll, she'll overtake this whole fire escape if you let it. People are hanging clothes over here, okay? So this is a, an obstruction, so I don't know if this is allowed, but this means people are coming out on the fire escape to do laundry. This is a very dangerous fire escape. The whole ladder assembly is all original hardware, all fully rust jacked. The ladder itself got a little twist at the very bottom because when you drop it, it drops very fast, like a guillotine. Again, very tight space here. Uh, one, no lines. So if a child is being dragged behind you, the child could fall, could fall through. There you go. Another AC in my way. The reduction is down to 10 inches here. Okay, all these treads, as you can see here, pretty bad condition. Fire escape needs a full 100% refurb, plus it needs to go right into emergency repair. See the dip there? She's already dipping at least, okay? You can notice a dip of at least an inch on that corner. That means there's something happened in that wall. Let's take a look at the wall how bad this wall is and above it they they uh, skinned it thicker but the water behind there is still coming down so there's stuff happening and instead of fixing this wall this green this this mold look at this green here look how much green there is there this is a this is a definitely a problem with this rear wall huge problem with this rear so what are, the, what are the things you have to do? So aside from having to move this AC, you can't have ACs in the windows, as I explained up above. Look at the twist here. None of these treads are falling, but look at that tread that's falling. One of the things I recommend is that you put, uh, depending on the, on the, and it's a rear yard, you might be able to put legs to the ground, three by three to that floor, so from that floor down to, to the ground three by three, from there to here two by two, from here to here two by two by quarter, and basically you're gonna create a box and you do all the major structural, tie it all together, and that basically takes away some, some tension on this wall, this wall is we're pulling on this wall. If you put legs to the ground, then you can usually do it on the backyard. This is one of those occasions that you can, you, can, you have a nice slab down there. You can put off the repair of this wall again with the authority of the engineer, not myself. Two separate things here. Fire escape is one thing, wall is another. Um, and this is to basically make it so that it's just a bridge because now the wall is a, is a leg and the leg out here to the ground is a leg. In some cases, we're over the street. You can't even go all the way down the ground. So you can at least marry that floor to this floor to that upper floor. And what you've done is you unified a all the brackets and created a box. 
So in order for any of the fire escape to fall, the entire box has to fall. But again, that's all engineered. That's all discussed with engineers, specialists. But as you can see, the slats are all riveted slats, rust jacking everywhere. Orange is the indication of, of lead paint. Usually it's the base primer is the lead paint, not the top coat. So there's plenty of evidence here. Huge rust jacking, half inch, five eighths. Okay, even though I pinged it, none of these fell, but you can't use this fire escape. Currently you can't use this fire escape. Okay, so uh, the fact that treads have fallen, can't use it. But even if no treads fell, I would still, because of the amount of rust jacking, uh, I would say that you can't use this fire escape until repairs uh, start should, and should start immediately. Look at the bulbs on the wall. Look at all that. Look at all the green, which is showing that there's plenty of moisture coming down this wall. And, uh, you know, if you tap this wall, a lot of this skin, stucco skin, which is a very small, thin stucco skin, is basically to hide the, the face. Okay, coming down. Now look at this. Not only does the is it rusting, it ate the clip. That's how bad that is. Look at that. Same thing, right? So, neglect is over 25 years easily. Fire escape did not pass today, nor 25 years ago. You gotta kill this green. This is the ladder system, as you can see, it's a slider. The ladder seems new. So they replaced the ladder, but it, it is punched through. She is bent, because when you drop it, she's like a guillotine. There's the hook, that when you lift the ladder by hand, the hook swings back and then you can drop it by hand. Just drop it, she'll hit the ground. Uh, but again, Firescape does have life safety concerns, needs a full paint job. Treads have fallen on the upper tread, two or three of them. Down here it's one uh, or two that are loose, but and then again, huge rust jacking. As you can see, a major dip on that corner down there. So it seems to be that corner, seems to be a dipping corner for some reason. Could be a bulge in the wall, could be anything. But it's definitely gonna need a separate inspection by a wall inspector uh, looking at this wall. But there's a lot of green, a lot of green. Any questions? Firescape Engineers Inspector Summary Video, 866-649-0333. Fire escape issues. Photos represent what the violations are, not where they are or how many exist. Pass fail inspection, not technical repair report.